Wagwan and welcome back to the channel everybody. My name is Frank. I hope you're having a great day and let's get right into this episode. Last time out, James Kingpin Price had an opportunity to win a championship shot. And now here we are. It's that time and let's see who we will be fighting. Andre, wow, this guy right here looks like a beast. Krenato Kase. I don't even know how to pronounce that, but he looks like he is a Greek fighter, a judo fighter at that. And I'll see everybody when it's time to go to training camp. All right, we're at a new gym here. Ballistic Box. Let's hear what the coach has to say before we get started. It's a nice gym though in the UK So we're definitely on home ground still Now if you're ready to put in the work, you'll be just fine. Now we train MMA, but we specialize in boxing When you're ready, we can get started. I'm not gonna lie. I am not here for any special moves I'm just here for health and stand-up. I'm thinking right here We're gonna do some block and parry or maybe actually we'll do blocking and parrying too because we have blocking and parrying one already done There we go. Let's, there we go. Beautiful starting to parry these strikes. There we go. There we go It's a little difficult when you don't got the stats to be parrying everything, but you know, you got to really try and Deliver the punches the way the best way you can I feel like John Jones, honestly, doing these little like hand fights. There we go, beautiful. Need two more, two more, one more. Beautiful. That's the way it's done, man. You gotta push to the final bell, or else you're never gonna be successful. Especially out here in the UFC, you gotta know that you have more conditioning and more ability to push that pace than your opponent. Because once you break your opponent, it's over out there. If they get too tired. There's nothing that they can do to stop you now in that fight. That's going to be our game plan as well going into this one. We might not have the best stand-up. We might not even have the greatest health attributes. But what I do know that we have is some of the best ground game in the world. James Kingpin Price says peace out to his trainer. And it is time to get into this championship fight. And there's no way out of it. Andreas Guantiontakes. I'm pretty sure is how you say it. If you look at his stats, though, he's pretty well-rounded. Good on the stand-up, decent in the clinch, and decent in the ground game. We have him beat in the clinch in the ground, and we're pretty even on submissions. More help for him, like I said, but James Kingpin Price is ready to deliver that beat down. I'll see everybody out there when it's time to punch this man in the face. Here we are at the Wellington Ballroom, I'm pretty sure it is. And it's that time. James Kingpin Price, 6'5", 240 versus the German, 21 and 4, 6'3", 255. A total curveball. I thought he was more of a, a, maybe of a Greek descent. But looks like he's a German fighter. This heavyweight fight is scheduled for five rounds. Let's go, five round fight. We begin with the champion. Ooh. This man is a defending heavyweight. Champion, Let's hear what his nickname is. Wow, okay. He's definitely got the crowd behind him tonight, but wait till you see this man, the myth, the legend. Man is a wrestler, Undefeated. States, James Undefeated, baby. Come on. You know the face. James Kingpin Price is ready. To take that belt. It's that time. Already a renegade fighting championship that he's won. And now in the Wellington ballroom, it's ready to go down. I hope everybody has something to drink. This one shouldn't be that quick. I'm thinking maybe one or two or two, two to three rounds is what might go. Let's see if he taps up. No tap up. Wants to taunt. I'm already parrying. Let's work on that. Let's work that parry. Damn! No, 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 okay. Yeah, we went right to the ground with this guy. I'm not playing any games anymore, okay? Yeah, I'll go right to the rubber guard and see how he wants to work. He can try and get up out of this, but we know rubber guard is a pretty dangerous position. And there we go, beautiful. A beautiful reversal. Come on, man. You cannot be messing around with James Kingpin Price on the ground if you don't got at least 90. You know, he is very dangerous, and he honestly... Wants wow, to keep putting it on his opponents just like this. Right I'm going to look for the posture up. Nope, not getting it. Maybe, maybe now. Dang, not again. A good deny. Goes for his back. I'm looking for the rear naked choke. Quick one, quick one, quick one. Tries to buck me off. No go. Good hammer fist. Good hammer fist. Another one. Beautiful. Deliver the elbow. Oh, beautiful hammer fist. Good block. Deny, deny. Look at the work we're putting on him. Elbow. Elbow, that's beautiful. 
Good to deny, maybe? Wow, he keeps getting... I don't know what it is, but I, I just never can deny him from this position. He tried to go for the punch, and now I'm looking for the rear naked choke. Oh, he could be done. Wow, but he gets right out. Pretty quick there. Let's look for... There it is. I'm looking for the Gogo Plata. Looking for the Gogo Plata. What? How do you get about of that? Whoa, whoa, ref. Nah, that's crazy. I don't know why I'm saying ref when that's really just me. Because I was like... Oh, whoa, whoa, down, 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 down to the floor. I'm not playing them games. That overhand hit me way too hard earlier in the fight, and look at him, already making transition moves on the ground. And that's a good transition. Looking for a deny, maybe, but he decides to get up. Let's see if I can actually put some work in here. Decent transition. Nope. Oh, what a move! What a beautiful transition. He did not expect that at all. He is in very deep water, and now he's on his back in the top mount control. Oh, working his back. He's trying to get me off. Nope. Beautiful work here. Oh, we're putting it on him now. We got to stay on him, too. And, of course, we're off. Jab, takedown. Hands is too high, but he's going for the guillotine choke now. Let's see if we can get him out of it. There we go, there we go, there we go. Beautiful. Get me out of that. Easy. Make your move, make your move. Good transition. Deny, deny, deny. Beautiful denial. Looking to get into the top mount position, but I really just get the side control instead. And I'm going to have to deny his next move. Maybe, good deny. I'm looking for the Kimura now. That's my submission I have in side control, and we hit it last fight. So I'm not even surprised if I were to get it today. But it gets me on a good get up, and a good clinch up now. Let me see if I can clinch up again. No, nope. no luck. Beautiful. We changing the hands up right to the takedown. We're finally blending the UFC talent that we have. We're ready to get the strike force. Jumps back and gets right back into a takedown. This is a monstrous, monstrous effort here from James Kingpin Price. And now, look at the challenger here on the bottom. Working a champion who is on the top now. I'm looking for that rubber guard. Maybe the Gogo Plata now. We'll find out. He's doing a bit too much, and here it goes. It could be the Gogo Plata. And it could be, and it could be. It could be a Gogo Plata. Gogo Plata! And he taps! It's a tap out submission win for James Kingpin Price. The new champ on the block, baby. Wow. I did not expect that one to be that fast of a finish. A freaky fast finish sponsored by Jimmy John's. <laughs> if you watch UFC, you kind of get that little joke. But a beautiful Gogo Plata. Look at that. Pulling back on his head. All strength. And look at that. Holding at his neck. Feeling the pain of that ankle bone digging in. And amazing. Amazing. Finally, man, the second division champion, you know the drill, United Fighters League champion, James Kingpin Price, now in the books with his career. I'm feeling really good, and I'm actually going to bounce up out of this one because I think it's going to allow us to, ch to choose which league we want to go to next after we win the championship. All right, so here we are. I want to just end this episode off here before I pick the league. So when I pick the league, it's not a big surprise next episode, all right? It's been Frank in the octagon slash ring. I think next time we'll actually be in an octagon, finally, with James Kingpin Price. If you enjoy, drop a like down below and subscribe for more daily uploads. Peace out and stay safe, everybody. I am picking Strike Force, by the way.